guys, today I'm going to show you how to add lace. So I'm just going to make a top. But actually, uh, you can apply it to anything you like, so I just took the simplest way to explain. So I made an opacity already to show you. So this is my basic opacity at the top. And I added this line. It is a guideline. A guideline you can make by just clicking in this side, drag it in, and there you have. If you want to remove it again, just use this move tool. And then drag it out, and it's gone. You can do it at the top the same. Drag it in, drag it out, and it's gone. So that's basically how it works. I mostly use this to see if my lines are right or if I am in the middle. Now, how do I know that I'm in the middle of it? Well, if you see on my layers, I have four layers, so this is my top, this is the black back background, and if I make this a little lighter, you can see the template behind it. So, I put, I took the middle line of it, and I put my guideline about it at the same height, at the same, same spot it is. So, you are mostly always in, in the middle of your template if you do that. So now I added a new layer. And if you look down here, I have my brushes. I have lace brushes. I can say this too much. Google is your friend. If you need brushes, Google buy them. And there are some great creators that can make all sorts of amazing brushes that you can use. So I picked this one and I made a new layer, so I'm going to add the lace to it. I need a white color, like my top is, and my pencil. I made this really small, because the brushes itself, they are really big when you click on them the first time, so scale them if needed. So here it is. I'm going to add it about here, there we have it. Now, at this side, click right on that layer you just made, duplicate it, it's a bit lighter, merge it down, duplicate it once again, and now go to your tools, take your flip tool, make sure the first one is selected, and click on that there. See? Now it's almost the same at both sides. Now if you say my brush at this side is not good, you can pick your move tool, click on it, and use your arrows on your keyboard to move it up a bit. Like this. See? So now you can merge that layer down. And there you go. If you think this is not bright enough, you can duplicate it once again. And now we have the bright white one and merge it down. So now that we have this one, we are going to save it. I already saved it under a name, so I'm going to just going to pick save, but you can save as top opacity or something. Save it. Then we open up previewer. Take file, create, ID number, and you type in the number I gave you. 60, 30, 62, 29, 7. Okay. So this is in the top. Now we see here the color and the opacity. So this opacity we're going to change that one into the one we made. 
think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Apply changes. And there we go. You see? You can also change that into that these parts that are open, you can also make it uh, the color gray so it's like look true. You can do anything you like with it, so we're going to make the texture now for on it. So we are going to go back to program. I lost my layers here. Oh there. So this is now time to add a new layer once again. I'm going to make this part on the downside. I'm going to make that another color. So I'm going to select with this one. And I'm going to select about here. I'm going to fill this one with a color. Let's see. Mm, it's going to be springtime, so we're going to pick blue. And then I use eat it through. There we go. I'm going to keep it like this, so I'm going to select nothing. Then add a new layer once again. And on this new layer, I'm going to select this part. And I'm going to make that part. Mm, let's see. Bright red. Okay, blue and red are not the most beautiful colors together. Oh, can pick purple too. Let's pick this one. Okay, so again, fill it with color. Select nothing. It looks a bit of a bit rough, so I'm going to add filters. Mm, let's see. The first one. Um, I'm going to make it a bit better. There. That's nice. So I press OK. And there we have it. I think I'm going to move it up a bit. Yeah. So this is my text. I'm going to save it as. my text, if it ever wants to. Export, save, and back to the pre previewer. Change it. Apply changes. There we go. This is how it looks. I will also make another tutorial in one of the next days to do some more harder lace addings. So this is actually what it looks like now. I hope this was a bit more clearer to you to you guys how to add it. If you have any questions you can always ask. Bye guys.